Jeanette Slowinski, born 1982, is an American former model. She was found guilty of reckless homicide for an incident on July 14, 2005, when she attempted to unalive herself while driving, causing a crash that resulted in the deaths of three local musicians, John Glick, Douglas Mice, and Michael Dahlquist. She served three years in prison. Jeanette Slowinski was born in 1982, the daughter of Polish immigrants. She attended Niles West High School. After graduating from high school, she began taking on modeling jobs to help finance her bachelor's degree in marketing. After high school, she took a career as a local print model in which her pictures ended up in calendars and lingerie ads. In 2002, she moved to Los Angeles and worked as a trade show model. On July 14, 2005, after a fight with her mother, Slowinski burst out the door and took her car out in an alleged attempt to take her own life by speeding down Dempster Street in Skokie, Illinois. She ran a red light at high speed, colliding with a car carrying John Glick of the Returnables, Douglas Mice of the Dials and EXO, and Michael Dahlquist of Silkworm. Both vehicles flipped over. The first calls to Skokie 911 came in about 12.15 p.m. Before Mice died, he and Slowinski were both taken to the hospital in ambulances. Police wanted to interview Mice before he went into emergency surgery, but they were too late and Mice died 10 minutes later from multiple injuries. When police interviewed Slowinski, asking if she purposely drove into the car, she repeatedly changed her story. At 5.30 p.m. on the afternoon of July 15, Skokie police officers arrested Slowinski in her hospital room. After the crash, Slowinski underwent surgery for a broken ankle at St. Francis Hospital in Evanston before being transferred to the Cermak Health Services in the Cook County Jail. She was later charged with three counts of first-degree murder and two counts of aggravated battery. Slowinski pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity and her trial began on October 15, 2007. In an attempt to prove Slowinski's diminished mental state, her attorney showed records that she had been admitted to a Chicago psychiatric hospital only two weeks before the crash and that she had been released after only one day. Slowinski was found not guilty of first-degree murder but was convicted of a lesser charge of reckless homicide. She was sentenced to eight years in prison with the possibility of parole after 19 months of good behavior. Upon hearing of the results, a statement from bandmates of the three dead musicians said, words failed them. Slowinski served her sentence at Dwight Correctional Center, a maximum security woman's prison about 80 miles southwest of downtown Chicago. Prison officials secretly transferred Slowinski from the Dwight Correctional Center to the Lincoln Correctional Center near Springfield, Illinois for her protection. Slowinski was paroled on the morning of October 2nd, 2008, from the Lincoln Correctional Center. Slowinski's incarceration was reduced by an Illinois law that can cut sentences in half. She also received credit for time spent in the Cook County Jail awaiting trial, six months reduction for good behavior, and three months reduction for receiving counseling while in prison. The Illinois Department of Corrections received death threats directed towards Slowinski shortly before her release. As a result, police stood guard outside her family's home in Morton Grove. Slowinski was on probation for a year until October 2, 2009. Her driver's license is eligible to be reinstated as of 2010. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts? Leave the comment below. Click that like button and notification bell if you like the video.